Today we're going to learn how to use a mat node to loop some animations in Geometry Node. I delete the camera, the light, go to Geometry Node, close this, and close this panel. Let's create a new profile, and we are going to create a curve, a straight line. So let's delete this, Shift A, Curve Line. Let's connect it, and let's make it in this axis. So for example, minus 4, 4 positive, and 0. Okay, now I want an object following this path. So let's join two geometries because we are going to have an object and this curve line. So we need join geometry. And we are going to use a point. So let's find point and connect it here. So now we have two geometries. We have this point and this line. We are going to convert this point, for example, to a cube. So instance on points. And let's bring a cube as instance. Perfect. So we have two geometries, we have a point, and we have a line. However, this point is not in the line, it's in the center. So we need to animate this object following this curve. How we do that? What we have to do is to do something in the position. So we need to take the sample, the position of all the line and connect it here. To do this, we need to sample this curve with sample curve. This node allows us to take the information of the wall curve. So we can say, use this position based in the sample curve. So now this cube is following this curve. Remember the factor always go from zero to one, and it's like the percentage of the curve. So if we click here and we move it until one, we are making the object following the curve until the end, one. So zero is the beginning, one is the end. If we want in the center, we click 0 0.5. Perfect. We know how to make an object follow a curve. Okay, now how I can make to animate this in a loop, all the time, repeating, repeating. We know we have to do something with that. However, when we reach one, we cannot do anything else. So here we can add a math node that is taking this value. So we can do the same from zero. Actually, let me add this zero because if not, it's not working. From zero, ulting one. However, after one, it doesn't work because the factor is from 0 until 1. OK. But if you want to loop this, there is a man node called, I'm going to duplicate this with Shift D, fraction. When you use fraction, this basically what does is that after this number reach 1, it repeats again the loop. So, when I increase this, it's working normal. However, when we reach one, boom, it repeats. It's like restarting again. So if we continue adding more values, we can look this animation. Every time reach one value, it repeats the loop. So I can emit this and create this loop. This is how it works, fraction. We can use it for other things, but with this example, it's really easy to understand. So if I add, for example, a scene time, basically every second is giving one value. So if I press spacebar, now we have this animation. Every second, we have a loop from zero to one. You can use other curve. For example, let's use a cycle. Let's connect it here. Let's make it bigger. Let me clean this. And let's connect it here. So I'm going to just connect this. And remember, now we have a cycle. And 0 is here. And if we click in the factor, it's doing a full cycle until the end. From 0 until 1. Something like that. However, 
if we connect this, we can look this animation. And we have an object all the time doing cycles. If you want to slow this, what you can do is to add here, let's copy this and multiply. If you multiply this number by 0 point something, it goes slower. And you can increase the velocity if you increase this value. So you get it there, right? Perfect. So here you have some nodes to make it easier to understand. We have a curve, a cycle. We have a point. We are sampling this curve to make this object follow the curve. We have this to animate the factor from 0 to 1. And with that, we can repeat the animation. And with this, we can adjust the velocity. And with this, we can just animate it without keyframes. Another thing you have to know if you want to learn more nodes, it's this one. This one and this one are really similar. It's like fraction, and if you press play, nothing happens. However, for example, if I press 0 0.5, we are saying that we want to loop only half of the curve. So remember, this is 0 and this is 1. And if I add 0 0.5, it's here. So with this, we are saying only loop until 0 0.5 and later repeat. Let's check it. 0 0.5, boom, repeat. So with this, we can say until where we want it repeats. Now until 7, more or less is here. And we can adjust if you want, for example, if you have a curve saying, I only want to repeat until here. 0.25. So it repeats. This is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.25. And with this, it's more or less the same. So you know how to use the three nodes in this case if you want to loop an animation. There is other ways to use it in other geometric nodes, but at least you know how to use it in this case when we use a curve line or curve circle or whatever curve we are going to use. I'm going to show you another way to use fraction without using curve, so you get more ideas. Here we have a cube and we are going to add a transform because we want to scale from 0 to 1 and loop it. So we are going to play with this. So let's add math and let's connect it here to control the three axes at the same time. Let me add this 0 so we can have here the real value, 0, 0, and if we increase this, we are increasing the scale. Okay, if I want to loop this from 0 to 1, remember, just add math in fraction. And now, every time I pass 1, it will start again the scale, like that. Now I'm reaching 2 and start again. So if I add a scene time like before, we have this animation. Because the loop is cycling every time. Okay, but maybe you're thinking, what if I don't want the scale from 0 to 1 and I want, I don't know, from 3 to 5? Then what you have to do is, after fraction, add a map range. With this, we can convert these values from 0 to 1. And here you define the values. So if I leave it like that, it's the same. However, if I say I want from 2 until 5, I have to put minimum 2, maximum 5. And now it loops from 2 to 5. As you can see. If you want from 0 to 5, from 0 to 5. If you want, I don't know, from minus 5 until 5, now it's doing this. If you want, you get it there, right? From 2 until 3, it's like that. So basically, with this, after that, we are changing the range of 0, 1 to whatever we have here. And it's repeating thanks to fraction. 
So if you are smart, you're going to use other ways to use this fraction in other geometry nodes setup. I hope you learned something useful and I'd recommend you to give a like and subscribe to don't lose more videos about geometry nodes. See you in the next video.